Some people, not naming any names, seem to have a problem with the idea that you can lucid dream every night. And I wanna just make a very clear and very quick point about this. Okay, if you go to YouTube, what happens is when you start typing something in, Google or YouTube will auto-suggest things based on how many other people are typing in that same thing. So if you see things coming down in the auto-suggest, that, what that means is lots of people are searching for that thing. So what you'll notice is if you start typing how to stop lucid, one of the suggestions is, is dreaming, okay? And if you actually check that, what that means is lots of people are typing in how to stop lucid dreaming, okay? And if you take this one step further, I actually have access, obviously, to my analytics, <laughs> and I can see thousands of people over the last year or so have been searching for how to stop lucid dreaming because, and get this, they lucid dream every night. So I think this is one of the most powerful, you know, pieces of evidence against the idea that you can't lucid dream every night. You can, and people do. In fact, people do so much that some people, you know, search for how to stop lucid dreaming because they don't like it. And uh, now this, you know, we get onto the, the realm of lucid nightmares and things like, uh, you know, unintentional, uncontrolled lucid dreams where, not uncontrolled, sorry, I mean, unintentional lucid dreams where you didn't plan to have a lucid dream, but you just had it anyway because you're one of those lucky people. I would say lucky, some people don't think it's lucky, okay? But that alone shows you that not only is it possible to lucid dream every night, but that thousands of people are doing that. And then within that, you know, group of lucky people who are lucid dreaming every night, some people, well, not some, thousands of people are actually trying to learn how to stop lucid dreaming. Now, there's two things you can take from this. The first one is that it is clearly, right, clearly possible to lucid dream every single night if you, you know, want to, or if you learn the right way of doing it. And then secondly, uh, which you probably are getting a bit, you know, worried about is that people seem to want to stop lucid dreaming. Now, there's several reasons for that. I would argue that it's because they simply don't have the correct level of dream control, or they simply want to have a normal dream, right? And, that, and that's something I've spoken about before. It is possible to get tired of lucid dreaming, or at least to get tired of the idea that you're in control. Sometimes you just wanna have a random, unpredictable, non-lucid dream, and then you wake up and analyze that dream and start to ask yourself, you know, what did it mean? What was the messages, that kind of thing. But that's neither here nor there, okay? Lucid dreaming is amazing. And the chances are, if you're watching this, you do want to lucid dream. And uh, there are a few, channels or people who seem to have a huge problem with the idea that it is possible to lucid dream every night. So much so that they would go out of their way to um, try and desperately try and convince you that it's not possible when if you logically look at the evidence and ask yourself, well, okay, if it's not possible, <laughs> then why are people typing into Google and YouTube how to stop lucid dreaming every night? I mean, are they making it up? <laughs> why would they, you know, I mean, now, what you might say to that is, well, it's kind of like a bell curve. So you have some people who can never lucid dream, no matter how hard they try. Some people who have it every now and then, rarely, you know, I would say that's the majority. And then some people who have it every night. Yes, correct. There is, and there does exist, such a bell curve where, you know, the majority of people, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with a bell curve, the majority of people fall into the middle category, which is that you lucid dream every now and then, you know, maybe once a month, maybe once a year, okay? However, and this is the really big takeaway here, if it is possible, as we've just demonstrated, to lucid dream every night, logically, it is also possible to move yourself from the middle category to the end category, right? You don't have to stay trapped in the, middle, in, in the middle category. It's just a bell curve. You know, that's just saying that the majority of people are there doesn't mean you have to be. And by the way, this applies not only to lucid dreaming, but to anything else you can imagine where there is a bell curve. Okay, let's say lifting weights, for example. Let's say that the majority of people fall into the middle of the bell curve where they can lift, I don't even know, let's just say for argument's sake, 50 kilograms in a, in a bench press. That's the majority of people, right? But of course, if you practice the right things, if you do the work, you can very easily move yourself from the middle category to the end category where you can actually lift more than the average person. Much more even. Because the majority of people don't put in the work 
and therefore keep themselves in this mediocre part of the bell curve. Doesn't have to be that way. So yeah, I thought it was finally time to make, you know, my response or my opinion on that. It is possible to lucid dream every night. People do it. Thousands of people do it. Uh, it is also possible, like with anything, to change your situation, to change your reality. If you don't want to be in this middle section, in any, any bell curve, right? You can move yourself to the higher section. You can decide what you want to do. If you put in the work, you'll be able to lift more weight. If you put in the work, you'll be able to lucid dream more often. It's literally as simple as that. So if you do want some kind of a bit of a push with this, a bit of help. I do have a couple of systems which I really think will help you. The first one is the bootcamp system. 30 day bootcamp, it teaches you exactly what to do, what to practice for those 30 days. It takes the pressure off you because you don't have to worry about what to practice and what works, what doesn't work. You can just follow the system, it takes about three minutes per day and you will lucid dream. The second one is the lucid breakthrough course. And this is a bit more in depth, but this explains why the Egyptians found it so easy to lucid dream and why we find it so collectively so hard now, or at least the majority of people find it hard now. Very simple, when you understand that reason, when it kind of clicks for you, you can reverse that and move yourself, like I said, from the middle, the, the majority who find it hard, to the minority who find it easy, you know, so easy that they actually decide, you know, what well, I'm bored of this, I, I wanna stop. <laughs> now, the chances are, if you're watching this, you don't want to stop lucid dreaming and in fact want to have lucid dreams or you know maybe even have your first lucid dream and that's perfect for you so the breakthrough system is a very interesting concept and a very uh, well researched piece of um it's a very well researched program i would say so go and check it out there's actually a free video training so if you click on the link which will be in the description by the way you can just watch the free video training it will explain why the egyptians found it so easy and uh, why or how you can do the same thing. But if you see this, this sort of, this, these ideas online, these ideas that you have to limit yourself or that life's so difficult, you need to be, you know, we're trapped in this middle of the bell curve, we just can't do anything about it. These are simply ideas. They're just stories you tell yourself. And as we've quite easily proved with the bench press scenario, I mean, exercise is a random example, but you know, it applies to anything. With the bench press scenario, Yes, the majority of people are trapped in the middle where they seem to, you know, they can lift 50 kilograms or whatever. That's just where the majority lies. But it's fairly straightforward with a bit of exercise and a bit of consistency to move yourself from the middle to the minority who can lift far more than the average person. This applies to anything, literally anything. Typing speed, lucid dreaming frequency, bench press weight capacity, um, income, literally anything you can imagine that where there exists a bell curve of people, you can move yourself from one category to the other. So if you do see this idea online, comment, you know, the truth, comment that actually you can, you can change that, you know, a bit of, a bit of hard work, practice the right things, practice the right techniques. And that's quite important too. Um, and you can move yourself from that category to the other. Here is my last, and I would say the most important part of this video. So I talked about moving yourself from one category to the other with a bit of consistency and work. That's, you know, one part of the puzzle. The other, and I would say biggest part of the puzzle is actually your beliefs, your subconscious beliefs specifically, but also your conscious ones. If you mentally don't believe that you can move yourself from the middle to the minority category, and I'll use the weights as an example again as well. If you mentally don't believe that you can lift more than 50 kilograms, you won't be able to, or at least, you know, you will find it harder. Your, your, your mental belief will cause it to be more difficult for you. So again, pay attention to what you are being told and what you believe internally. Okay, so if you strongly believe, because, you know, someone's told you, for example, that it's just the way it is that lucid dreaming is hard, some lucky people can lucid dream, but the vast majority of us are permanently trapped in the middle where we just, no matter what we do, we can't escape this situation. If you believe that, then it will, it will be true for you. Okay, conversely, if you don't believe that or if you change your belief, that will also be true for you. And there are so many examples. I have so many emails from people who say, you know what, I, before, I was told this about lucid dreaming. I was told it would be difficult. I was told that 
you know, it's just the way it is that we happen to only have one lucid dream a month. Then I started watching your videos. I started paying attention to what you're saying and I changed that belief. And then almost immediately, right? Almost, almost at the same time, when you change this belief, your results change. If you, if you just snap your fingers and say, you know what, from this point on, I'm gonna believe that lucid dreaming is easy. It happens often. From that moment on, you know, it will be easier. It, you know, it, and you can experiment with this yourself. You can try it out and see how you get on. All right, that's it for now. See you next time.